Hello and welcome to this video that focuses on the type of stock and the best type of software for making videos really centered at people in school. So today I'm going to be looking at Toonly, Doodly and Create Studio. Now these are fairly inexpensive softwares and you can buy them outright for under £100 or $100 and of course as with all these type of softwares there's various upgrades you can get. So first of all let's start with Toonly that's where I am. So in Toonly you have scenes, you have scenes and you have some quite good scenes. Let's put in a scene of a school. Now what I like about Toonly is you can search quite well in this. So we don't really have a school so let's put in a playground. So I drag this over here and I've got a playground. So if we go to characters we can search by animation or by characters. Let's search by characters. So if we search for boy, we've got all these type of boys, basically. So we've got all these young people. I mean, some are in clearly in a nativity. Some are toddlers, some are superheroes. Um, we've got fairly good diversity. We've got a college person here, so let's drag them on. And we can do a variety of animations. We can resize them, etc. Now, I think the really important thing to say is in all of these softwares, all of the things that come included with it are gonna be very generic. If you buy one of these softwares, no matter how expensive it is, you will always find that there's something that you just can't find. They just don't have an asset for something that's likely to happen so that's likely to be the same here so that's going to be the same here in to toonly doodly and create studio in all these packages you can upload and add your own assets but for toonly they're not going to be animated so i can upload an object now you'll see here i've uploaded some objects so i can upload pictures but i can't upload animated characters into toonly the other thing to disclose is i have the enterprise version of toonly i have the enterprise version of doodly and I have the standard version of create studio so i'm going to go back to characters and we're going to get rid of this search tag and we're going to search for girl we have an asian american girl let's put her in let's bring her to the front and let's make her the same size as the college boy. And I'm now gonna just preview that. So those children were already there in the templates. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add in um, clapping for the girl, and I'm gonna add in gaming with a joystick for a boy. Now again, there are lots of animation settings for these characters, but they're all gonna be generic and it might be you can't find the one you're looking for but they all have walking working on a laptop that sort of thing shopping so let's have a look at this again this scene so that was just to give you an idea of what to expect in Toonly now we're going to go over to Doodly so we're now in Doodly and this is the enterprise version so it's not that there's different versions I've just paid for an enterprise upgrade and it gives me access to more assets I've also paid for the rainbow upgrade as well that just gives me colored assets so if I go to characters I can search for boy and again we've got some really generic things and where it says D that is an enterprise um, version. So if it says D, it won't be in the standard version. I think the enterprise is another $97 and I've, I've made videos about that. So we can see we've got cowboys, we've got cowgirls, we've got Adam. I don't think Adam is a boy. Well, Ad Adam is a man, isn't he? Let's face it. Um, I don't think we could claim he was um, a young person at all. And then down here, we've got a young version of Brad in various poses, Brad sprinting, Brad stretching. So if I bring Brad in, all I can do in Doodly is resize him or resize the character. It's static. So I'm just going to preview this. So all that Doodly does is it draws your assets in in a hand-drawn fashion like it's on a whiteboard. And you can change various things like the hand, you can change the type of board, but that's all it does. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can do quite a lot of things, but at its heart, at its heart, Doodly just draws things on. And again, you can upload your own um, if you find you don't have the assets included that you like. Now, Rainbow, I can just turn Rainbow on. 
Da -da, and now he's colored but i can't change the colors of the of that i'm stuck with that but if we go to scenes we have some pre-built scenes might find this is a school scene so i might drag it over okay so i've added a scene and i can go and add brad in so this has all the assets in i can add extra assets i, for I forgot to say this is quite useful you can add text and when you add text, I always like to have a hand-drawn style text. Now I'm going to put that at the top so it draws first. Let's preview that. When you add text, it gets drawn in. I think that's quite nice. And then the rest of the stuff gets drawn in. You can change the length of time it takes to draw things in, etc. If you upload your own assets to Doodly, you can also specify how they're drawn in. So that's Doodly. Now we're in Create Studio and it's actually Create Studio 3 because this has been recently released. I think Create Studio 3 is probably much more advanced than the other two. If Doodly is the easiest to use, Doodly really is the easiest to use. I think um, Toonly would follow and then Create Studio. Create Studio, you can do some really amazing things and Create Studio is gonna give you some really professional looking things, but I think it's much more fiddly than Doodly and Toonly, and there's another downside to it. But it might be exactly what you want because it gives you lots of assets, it gives you lots of creative freedom, and you can achieve what you want to. So all we do is we drag things over, and this is text that types out like a typewriter. And I could click into it and edit what I want, so I could go and edit the text here. So, and yeah, let's have a look at that again. Okay, so it, that comes with all the sound effects, etc. So we can go and upload things ourselves. We can upload our own images and stuff. We can add text, backgrounds. We've got 3D characters. I've only got two characters here and every character you need to download. So let's download Tom. So it has to be downloaded to my computer from the internet. So Tom has now downloaded. I'm gonna drag Tom across. Here we go. So here's Tom and he's 3D and I can position him, I can give him motion, I can have how he comes into the screen, I can rotate him, like so, I can change, I can give him effects, I can change his clothes, etc. So I've got, I can add logos. There's loads of things I can do. So I've had to pick my category, so I've picked Doodle. So we've got a Doodle guy. I've got to download him again. While I'm waiting for that to download, what we can see down here is it's got a crown. Now, if it's got a crown, it means you have to take out a yearly pass at I think $197. So you only get some things included. Let's bring this chap in. Here we are. Now, I think that's re that looks really good, doesn't it? That looks excellent. He's free, um, whoever he is. But go back to characters and let's go to um, doodle. And we've got all these, we've got all these types of characters, but this stick man, if I try and drag him in, so I've got to pay $27 per month or $197 per year. That's quite a lot. Going back to the studio, we've got shapes. I don't really think there's any restriction on shapes. We've got lots and lots of shapes that can be used. We've got emojis, all these sort of things. We've got icons. We've got animated titles. Now this is really useful. We've got loads of animated titles. So it's effectively lower thirds and things like that, but they're templated. So you don't have to design these things from scratch yourself. You can use some already existing elements. And we've got some really good things for social media, like lo lower thirds. I really like lower thirds. We've got YouTube specific, specific icons. We've got things like progress bars and carousels. And there's all sorts of manner of things we can do in Create Studio that are really good. and create really impressive videos so if i go to doodle we've got all these sort of icons but they're in a doodle style and what we can do as well let's just download the parchment is if i bring this in this parchment clearly that's too big i want to resize it i want to put it in his hand we can make this hand drawn if 
I drag doodle across to this, a hand will start to draw this in in a certain way and I can have it automatic or manual. There's loads and loads of effects you can have. So doodle is now on this. So you can draw things in in Create Studio. You can have them come in on their own. The, the possibilities are endless with Create Studio, but the only thing I would say with Create Studio is you buy the initial software and then if you want a lot of the assets, well, you've got to pay for that, which I think puts people off and it certainly puts me off. Got transitions. We've got sounds, you know, we've got stock music and stock and you can upload music, you can upload stock. There's lots of pre-built scenes as well. So that's really good to see. So I hope you found this video useful, just giving an overview of really what the best software is for creating videos for maybe business or a school environment. Now, I can't tell you which is the best because I don't know what your budget is. I don't know how good you are at using these softwares. It's really up to you. But I've shown you three softwares that I think are quite good for this type of market. Thank you. Goodbye.